because you don't respect me at all. Hey, do you realize that you have been involved in a traffic crash? You are so bad. Ace to your chest. Next, a woman resisted the police, faced serious consequences shortly after. Meanwhile, a seemingly innocent girl showed up with something that left everyone shocked. On August 14, 2023, the Sarasota Police Department received a report of a woman named Tiffany trespassing on private property. When officers arrived, the woman became confrontational and resisted their order. You need to get out. They, they said that you need to leave the premises. You have to listen to them. Okay, that's fine. Okay, thank you. But just you know, she came in the restroom and on me and twice banged the door and then came in again and said, I'm sorry. Inside the restroom, the woman decided not to listen to the officer's request to leave. As he kept politely repeating his commands, she continued talking on her phone and ignored him. After warning her several times about trespassing, he realized it wasn't worth wasting more time on her, which led to the following situation. No, no, no. I'm going. Sir, I'm going. Go. Nope, no, you're not going to do that to me. You already get this. Get your hands behind your back. No, you're resisting arrest. Put your hands behind your back. 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 Are you fucking? Yes, you're under arrest. I told you to leave. I am leaving. Please just let me leave. So you got to leave. So I'm letting everything. Please don't what is what are you arresting me for? What are you arresting me for? What are you arresting me for now? Oh my god, what are you arresting me for? Give me your other hand. Good job. You son of the earth. You fucking scumbag. You are a son of a bitch. Look at this shit you go through just to fucking be so extreme. What a fucking scumbag. Sit on your side. You are a scumbag. Knees to your chest. You are a piece of We're gonna go up in one, two, three. Oh, what the fuck am I being arrested for? This video. One female, 10, this 15. is unreal, man. Let's get a supervisor. 51 for use force. What the fuck are you arresting me for now? What are you arresting me for? What the fuck could you possibly be arresting me for? What is wrong with you? You didn't listen. I, I told you so many times. I got me. off the phone in the moment I did and was and walking yourself, away. You, you arrested me. Leave. That's why I don't want to listen to you because you don't respect me You're on at all. Yes. Yeah, hanging up the phone and walking away. That's why I didn't want to because I knew you'd do some shit. That is unfucking real. You feel good about that? I told you I didn't want to arrest you. I mean, do you seriously feel good about this? I did not want to like, arrest you. Like, how is this even possible? For you to feel okay about doing that to me just that. That is unfucking real. You broke my phone. You scraped my elbows. Because I was already leaving and hung up the phone for you. And you gave me a citation the other day. I mean, what is the fuck is wrong with you? You, 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 you legitimately... You know, what have, I did legitimately you did... You, that's all you need to do is What's leave. wrong with you? That's all you need to do is leave. I have a fucking job interview tomorrow, dude. You fucking yeah, piece of shit. That was really silly. I hope you feel really... Oh, hanging up the phone and walking away. That's what I was doing. You stopped and you wouldn't leave. Again. What did I say? I don't remember. I was walking away. You were following me. You told me to hang up. I did. And I was walking away. If that's how the you fuck remember is, it. How do you feel good about this, you'll dude? You'll remember this for the rest of your fucking life. Okay. That is some shit, dude. Okay. To do, to embarrass me, show my ass. How dare you? How fucking dare you? I have resisted. Oh my god, you're such a piece of shit. You threw me on the ground. How did I resist? You broke yep. my phone and you're fucking my life. Yep, I you you resisted phone. my truth. Piece of shit. Scum of the earth. I think I'm trespassing at home. Were you trespassed previously? No, dumbass. Go get my stuff. Right now, please. I will grab your stuff. I can take orders from you. And I don't fucking get arrested by you yeah. for walking away. The fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. You already gave me a citation. I'm on probation, and you just want me to go so probation? far backwards, don't you? You're on probation? You do, don't and you? And you resist arrest. I did not. You threw me on the fucking ground. When I put your hands on your back and you pulled I was walking away. away. Yeah. You don't need to scream. Do what the People fuck I to want to at this here. point. Yeah. I was walking away. I did You I said, hang up the phone. I was walking this way. You were following me. Yeah. I did, did exactly what... Hour? She struggled and hurt herself during the arrest. 
Later, when other officers arrived, she blamed this officer for her injuries. They also found out that she was on probation for stealing a tuna fish. All right. We're getting water. No. It's gonna, it would have to get thrown away anyway. I can't go into jail. I, I told you probably three times prior I didn't want to take it to jail. When you rip your arm away and say no, that's what you're saying. Put your phone in place. You're a liar. I did what you asked. It's on body camera. It was the moment. Good. Yes. Oh, good. Trust me. After a thorough search of her bag confirmed that she was not carrying any illegal items, the officer escorted her to jail. However, throughout the process, she continued to act erratically, making the situation even more tense and awkward. Yeah, it was a bad decision on your part. No, was... Next time an officer says put your hands behind your back, you should do it. It's an order. It's a lawful order. You can't rip your arm away and say no. Like, if you could just maybe grab my elbow a little bit and pull me to sure. the left. Sure. Does my other elbow hurt? Sure, there you go. I feel stuck. Here, get your leg up. There you go. Oh, but my wrist. Okay, now I got it. Okay. I'll just have you come this way, please. Can you just fucking go like that with my bangs? If you go like this, it would help. I can't touch your hair. There you go. All right. If you just stand right back here, I'm just gonna close In the end, the woman was charged with trespassing after failing to leave the property when ordered by the owner, a second-degree misdemeanor, which can result in a fine of up to $500 and a jail sentence of up to 60 days, as well as resisting an officer without violence, a first-degree misdemeanor carrying potential penalties of up to a year in jail and a fine of up to $1,000. Remember, it's important to leave a property immediately when the owner requests it. Otherwise, you may find yourself in legal trouble. On July 25, 2022, Nassau County Police got a call about a reckless driver named Kayla, swerving all over the road and almost hitting other cars multiple times. Officers eventually caught up and pulled her over. When they first talked to the driver, it was obvious that something wasn't right. Okay, uh, uh, I just had a hard day. Okay, what's oh, yeah. going on? <laughs> um, well, I got fired from my job. Okay. Um, I was there for four years. I worked at Shane. Kayla was clearly upset, explained that she had just lost her job as a truck driver after four years and was having a really tough day. As the deputy looked into the situation, he found out that she had also been in a traffic accident, hitting a pole or sign. She seemed unaware of how badly her car was damaged. Further investigation also revealed that she had been trespassed from a local Walmart earlier. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Um, are you willing to conduct field sobriety exercises? Yes, sir, whatever you need. Okay. All right, just because it's kind of noisy here and the road's a little bit like uneven, I'm gonna, you're gonna hop in the back of my car, okay. and we're gonna drive over to the middle school. Is that cool with you? It's a little bit, it's a little bit even there. I'll have a deputy sit here with your car, make sure everything's cool. Okay. Yeah, and then we'll come right back here after. Sound cool? Whatever you need. Okay, my car is all the way back here in the back. All right. Because the stopping location was too noisy, the officer took Kayla to a different spot to conduct a sobriety test. Meanwhile, the other officers remained at the scene to search the Mustang. Her cooperative and respectful attitude prevented the situation from becoming tense, which is essential when working with police officers. Uh, like, especially this fine. In the end, the deputy concluded that Kayla appeared to be under the influence of a substance and informed her that she would be taken into custody. 
a later test for fentanyl came back positive, indicating serious consequences for her driving behavior and possible legal issues. All right, we're gonna walk back to where we were, okay? We're just gonna sit back in the car. I'll grab them for you. You're okay, you're okay. It's okay. No, it's okay. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, definitely fit. 10 4 for Fent? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, how do Uh, Field presumptive right, test positive. Gonna chase you going. Let's, I'm gonna double bag that for him. Yeah. Now and tell him he doesn't need to wait. Yeah. In conclusion, Kayla faced multiple serious charges. Driving under the influence of drugs, DUID, which carries fines of up to $1,000, a one year license suspension, and up to one year in prison possession of fentanyl over one gram, which could lead to fines of up to $50,000 and up to nine years in prison, depending on the quantity and any prior drug offenses, and reckless driving, which includes penalties of $300, a six-month license suspension, and up to one month in jail. In total, she faced fines ranging from $1,100 to potentially $51,300, depending on the specifics of the offenses and her prior convictions. This incident emphasizes the critical importance of road safety and the dangers of driving under the influence. Never forget to stay alert and make safe choices while driving. That's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.